Hi everyone! Hi everyone! Today we are up at Wonder Home near to Hull and we have the pleasure of taking a good look around the Westphalia Kelsey. Stay tuned! So for those of you who don't know what a Westphalia Kelsey actually is, it's basically a Ford Transit Custom which has been converted with all of the Westphalia magic. And it's, I tell you what, if you've not seen inside a Westphalia, you've got to stay tuned because you've never seen a van like this if you haven't seen a Westphalia before. It, they are beautifully done inside. And this is part of a little series of videos because we're going to be looking at the Club Joker. So Westphalia Club Joker, which is built on a transporter platform. So all of you who are looking for something like this, but you want it on a Volkswagen platform, Stay tuned, there's another video coming soon. Yep. Keep an eye out for yep. that. And we're also going to be testing out a Westphalia Amazon. Am 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 Amundsen. Oh, he's useless. Amundsen. Amundsen. <laughs> I can never say it right. So, anyway, let's have a bit of a chat Today about this. Today is the Kelsey. Let's have a bit of a chat about this Kelsey then. We're going to do a bit of a walk around. You can see around all the features on the outside. We're going to do some inside stuff. We'll have a look at the beds and how it all configures and all the... We can laugh at Will, putting the bed out and putting it back away again. Whilst I film that, I'm definitely filming it. I'm not doing it. And obviously all of the technical details and all that kind of stuff, you know the channel by now. We're not going to try and leave anything out. No. So it's going to be a good thorough review, hopefully. And hopefully not too long, but you never know. Again, you know the channel. <laughs> yeah, it's not apologies going to be, in advance. It's not going to be five minutes. Yeah. But there's a lot to say, isn't there? Because this Kelsey is... Brilliant. It's stunning. It well, really is. I think we must add that uh, our friends down at Camper Van Carpets have recently purchased the yeah. Kelsey. So we have had a very sneak peek at one uh, when they popped in to show us on a rainy evening after collecting yeah, this it. This colour as well. Uh, exactly the same colour. And they love blue. it. They love it. And uh, I'm sure Ali at Camper Van Carpets will be uh, quick in the comments with pictures of how she's personalised this van <laughs> to the hilt. <laughs> Uh, with some gorgeous bits for the interior and of it. Bear in mind, so. they came from a California as well, didn't they? They did, yes. They so, had a Cali. Yeah. And so, have made the move. So it doesn't necessarily figure that, you know, you might start with a Kelsey and then think, oh, I'll upgrade to a Cali or I'll change it for a Volkswagen or something like that. Yeah. Sometimes it goes the other way. Yeah. And actually, that's a good point because what we've seen is people who have been used to having a Volkswagen, when you're looking at the price of a new California or look at the price of a Club Joker, you know, those those are getting really expensive because the base van, that Volkswagen 6.1 yeah, van, the they're, transporter they're really is expensive. rocketing. And actually, the, it's been, it, I, you know, admit this, been a while since I'd really looked at a, a Ford uh, Transit for, you know, yeah. uh, inside and out, what are they like and all the features and things. I'll tell you what, the, the value for money. It's lovely. It's lo and, and it's really nice quality inside. As you'll see, it's just a cracking van. Yeah. And I, I've had Fiestas for many years. Uh, in my past, I was driving instructor, as you probably know, if you've been watching the channel. And Fiestas were my go-to vehicles, and they drive fantastically. Yeah. Will had a Fiesta not too long ago yeah. as well. He had a bit of a midlife crisis and ordered a, an ST, uh, which he kept for about car. a year. It's a brilliant no, car. No, I don't though. think he even kept it for a year, to be honest. I was a bit too uh... wide for the seat, but that's a whole different story. <laughs> so this, this as a base van, I think, is, is a brilliant van. Yeah. Uh, it really is. And the nice thing, I think, about the Kelsey is you're not, although you, van size, you might be comparing a California or a conversion of some kind to this Kelsey. When you have a look inside and we show you the layout of this, you're not comparing the it's same really things. It's really innovative. Completely different layout what, inside. Um, what you can do with the same space, yeah. actually, how, how many different ways you could configure yeah. the similar kind of space. Yeah. Really interesting. No, so, it's, it's really let's, good. let's crack on. Let's We've crack done on. lots of talking and it's turning into a long video again, isn't it? And people actually <laughs> want to see some stuff. So, right. let's, so, let's go. Right then. So what is a Westphalia Kelsey? Well, it's a Ford Transit Custom. It's on the long wheelbase version. So 5.34 metres long. So if you're trying to park it in a normal car, car parking space or anything like that, dead easy. Uh, you might have to overhang the, the back a little tiny bit from the space. To be honest, when you look at some size of things like a 5 Series Estate or an Audi A6 Estate or anything like that, they're about five and a bit metres anyway. So it's it's absolutely fine. So a really good size van and a bit longer than a Volkswagen California. So you get that little bit more space inside. In terms of the van spec itself, obviously when you, when you have a Kelsey, you can choose a bit of the spec. 
Uh, sometimes they come pre-configured with various different packs and those kind of things. But this one that we're looking at today has got loads of kit on. So, you know, things like Xenon lights, adaptive cruise, heated windscreen, you know, active city stop for when you're in traffic, if something breaks in front of you. It's got things like um, uh, blind spot monitoring. So the little flashing lights on the wing mirrors. Uh, it's got folding wing mirrors. It's got front and rear parking sensors, it's got park assist so it will park itself for you, it's got a reversing camera, it kind of goes on and on and on. <laughs> so all that stuff which you might think is like premium product, got to be the Volkswagen, it's the only one that's going to have some of this stuff. Nope, Ford pretty much got it all. So it's a, a really good van in terms of base spec. Uh, the other thing which is worth mentioning, and you'll see this just as we go around, obviously sliding door, um, which is kind of obvious for a van, but there's another one of these the other side. Ooh. So a bit like a beach. Uh, so the beach tour, uh, California, has two doors, but it doesn't really have anything inside in terms of kitchen. It's got obviously bedding and things, doesn't really have a kitchen and stuff. But as you'll see when we do an internal in this in a minute, this is a bit different. So two doors obviously means you can get out continental side, UK side, you're not stepping into traffic which is always a bonus. And as we go round, obviously this one's got mud flaps and things. Uh, it's got a uh, hookup on this side. So straightforward hookup um, for 240 volt when you're on a campsite. Obviously charges the leisure batteries. I think from memory, this one's got two leisure batteries as well. I need to just double check that. Uh, again, coming around the back, um, normal kind of back of a van, nothing particularly interesting here. You're reversing camera and parking sensors and all those kind of things. Um, no mistaking what it is, because for some reason, somebody at Westphalia decided to use the extra large they font. They did, didn't they? Crikey. It's, there's absolutely no question what this is. <laughs> um, and you know, It's a little more subtle on this side. It is. It is. There we go. Um, <laughs> but that said, I suppose, you know, why not? Why not? Shout it from yeah, the rooftops. Absolutely. Um, we will come on to the pop top because it's a kind of an obvious thing that it's got. Uh, I haven't mentioned it specifically, but as you can see, it, it actually comes up the other way. So it's hinged from the front rather than uh, from the back. And uh, there's a, another good reason for that. Again, when we go on the inside, you'll see why. Uh, so again, down the side here, second opening door. Um, very, very useful uh, in this country, obviously in the UK. Uh, and it's got the nice opening windows uh, in the doors as well. Um, so again, helpful for just a bit of ventilation. I should have mentioned back here as well, sorry. What have we got um, back here? Back here we have got the vent for the hot water system Ooh. because, yep, this, has, has, got, hot water. this has got hot water. Ooh. It's got a hot water boiler uh, and that's your water filler. Uh, so nice and easy and uh, accessible on that side. And that's pretty much it really as we go around fuel filler, obviously. Um, you can just see poking out underneath here. I don't know whether you can see it. That's your exhaust uh, for nice. the diesel heating, which it's got, um, which obviously, you know, on a van like this, this kind of quality, you'd expect diesel heating, uh, which it does have. So that's your night heater that you can set to make sure you kept warm all the time when you're in the van. So I think that's probably enough around the outside. Let's get on to the good stuff, which is on the inside. Welcome to the Kelsey. Come and join me inside. It absolutely smells beautiful in here, properly of new van. And uh, it's got this lovely upholstery. I'm not entirely sure whether it's leather or pleather, but it feels nice. Uh, whichever way it is, this kind of creamy colour makes it feel really quite nice and sort of open, actually, and light and bright in here. And actually matches all of this lovely carpentry uh, that they've got in here as well. So this nice table. And then Will's going to show you this uh, kind of kitchen unit that there is here on the end. So in here, you end up with this really lovely kind of pull-out pantry and this beautiful curves actually. You really don't see this uh, a huge amount at all and uh, loads of storage space in there. There's some really nice positive clunks. Now you're probably wondering what these couple of switches here do and I'm going to flick one of them and that is some lighting there that you can see actually on the, the strip lights under the bed and there's one one on this close side to the door here and one further away and then we're going to flick down and if we flick the other one on ooh, under cabinet lighting so kind of mood lighting really nice they, they do some, something similar to that in the marco polo yeah. don't they really subtle nice actually it's really yeah it does it's look really good and you're really getting cool. a sneak peek there of what what's to what's come what's to come yeah 
So let's flick those two off for the moment because we don't need those. Now you can obviously see here you've got a bench seat that you can sit a couple of people on, the table here, and this bit here, this area, actually converts into the small double bed, uh, which we'll come on to later and you can have a laugh watching Will uh, making that oh, bed up. I for thought the you first were going to do it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Will's been shown how to do it, oh, so right. he's yeah. now the expert. Yeah. Um, but what, like that. Uh, what you actually do find that you get in here as well, that these couple of kind of storage cubes that are down here that uh, I think they fix into the floor with some Velcro and bits and pieces, don't they? So a kind of footstool. I think and the back a, a one's locked box. in, the front one's on Velcro. Yeah. yeah. A couple of storage boxes. Yeah, was quite nice. Cool. Um, and then another one down here. Which has actually got this kind of tabletop in it, which is quite cool to kind of cover it up. Which I suspect you could actually, if you wanted to, if you were sitting on these seats and you didn't want to put the table out, you could kind of use it as a little coffee table or something. Yeah, it's part. Of, yeah, I think we use that when we make the bed up. I think. Well, yes, we'll, you do to give it a bit more stability, we'll have a look don't at you? That in but a bit. yeah, so it's got a it has a secondary use. Uh, so back here, you've got your normal sink with your glass cover and your hob, two burners sink here with this nice Ooh. really beautiful tap that's new that's really lovely the excuse me a moment i'm just going to jump in oh yeah that's really nice got a lovely Don't. feel to it no that's <laughs> what it does that's how it was in there I thought you were going to face it you... hey! <laughs> <laughs> no so that that goes there it's lovely. so the other important thing nice to say level. there of course is that you've got hot water for that mm. so yeah that, that's a yeah. really it's a nice nifty... size sink actually sink Pretty isn't good. it yeah, yeah double burner yeah so the standard kind of uh, glass top split on here. split top it's got an idea there of what pan sizes you can use on it so your maximum is up to 20 centimeter diameter and 120 uh, sorry 112 yeah. centimeter diameter on that one and then down here you have some huge. really quite huge drawers there's i must say the amount of storage that you get in this van for the size that it is it's, it's pretty massive. incredible <laughs> it um, of stuff in cupboards. So you get your nice little cutlery tray here. Fits perfectly in there. Nice big drawer. Again, nice positive closures. Another big drawer. That's there. huge. And it's got soft clothes. Oh, nice. nice. And then, oh, that's a fold down one. I thought that was going to pull out there. But it's got some nice, is that bungee cords? That's some bungee cords there. Yeah, look, to, to help hold stuff. your stuff in. There's another one yeah, there. Yeah, so that's the back of the cupboard there so you can use it to just hold stuff in and then this yeah, one here says nice. 12 and 230 volts on so it's got a socket in it it does which is pretty nifty yeah nice okay good for up. charging phones and bits and bobs yeah. in there so you've probably spotted there's this timbre unit uh, that's pretty high up here and if we fold that open this is where the mattress that converts this area where Will's now standing into the bed. Uh, so they store away really we'll, nice and we'll easily. Come on to that, and then apparently. when you take this seat apart to make it into the bed, they can go in this cupboard here. So everything stays nice and tidy and compact and away. And obviously, if you have no plans whatsoever to use this bottom bed, you could leave these at home and then you've got yourself. You say sho shove a hook on the top of an that inside. It's a massive wardrobe. Sort of hanging space here it's if you brilliant. want it, or for coats, jackets, whatever. It's much um, better than you get in most motorhomes. It's motor kind of kept that. away, yeah. So it's a nice tall store space there, which is lovely. Ooh. Where have you gone? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> then we have another cupboard back here. So that's which, enormous as well. That's obviously where the table leg goes, isn't it? That's and you've got a hanging rail, hanging rail there. up there too. Now and some electrics bits down there in the bottom that we'll be able to yeah, get to. Yeah, and apparently that little baseboard in there with the hole in, if you take mm. that out, that's where your hot water boiler is. Do you want me to try and take it no, out? No, 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 you don't need that. Okay. But that's, a, that's, that's where, where the where boiler you, is. Yeah, and the pole for the table clips on the back of that door. Like. Yeah. Right, nice, another big cupboard. And then, as we come back here, <gasps> I'm already standing in it. This is the shower. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about the throne. The throne. Well, I'm, ne I'm next to the throne, but here you can take this board out that I'm standing on. Is that on. an actual shower tray? It is an actual shower tray. So you pin up a curtain around here and you can have a shower. In the van? In the van. I mean, alternatively, you can open the boot and then you can dangle the shower there. outside. And There's a sucker of, yeah, for the, you can, for yeah, the on shower. The, on the shower there. So that's great. 
and the pièce de résistance for people who are short like me plus built-in ladder. It... It's an actual ladder and we'll get some proper footage of this from the back <laughs> but there's the actual ladder to get into the bed. Now what you also can't see and Will can do this when he spins around he's actually managing to stand up pretty much upright because where the bed cantilevers it's got a kink in it so it actually gives you a bit more head height when you've just raise the bed up. Now in, so. in, in true professional fashion I'm going to sit hand Sarah the camera <laughs> so uh, apologies if this looks a little amateurish but there you go it's an amateur channel. So, he's, so he isn't standing absolutely upright there but he's a long way up. back. If I was Sarah standing here she'd be yeah, standing I was no upright, problem at all. But you can see that cantilever so this, kind of section. This is it's I mean that's me standing right against it yeah but it's really good it gives you loads of extra space if you're sitting down here Obviously, you're underneath the front part here. Yeah. But when you stand up, you can actually get up and it feels quite okay. Do you want to do that again? Sit down. Stand up. Oh, look. See, look, I just do it's what I'm told. Getting exercise for the day. <laughs> That's it, I'm done now. <laughs> but it, it really is really is lovely. This is all nice fabric lined in here. Yeah. Nice for a bit of sound deadening. Because when yeah. these are, are just a solid board or, you know, they're kind of in plastic or something, mm. it, it's, it just doesn't deaden the sound too much. Yeah. It's really... Uh, nicely made and then obviously in the uh, canvas you've got fly screen netting there obviously that zips yep. up and a uh, plexiglass window at the back up on there uh, straps well. to pull down the roof because it's a manual roof that's right yeah manual roof and then another half moon yeah over obviously on this gas, side as gas well. struts outside which help yep. the uh, roof yeah. go up you've got, you've got a couple actually of... uh, quite funky lighting back here Ooh. as well i'll go and open the uh, the can, back door you can move so around we can... to give yourself a bit more a bit more light which obviously works when you are upstairs up there you just need to make sure you fold them back down again when you put the roof back down that could cause problems but it is nice and flexible and there's one over on this side as well so so at the back here i've missed out actually all of the kitchen as well we've just gone straight onto a bathroom haven't we so there's a toilet and this shower tray that you can pin things up around and the ladder so that which that's a proper here. shower tray with a yeah, plug hole just taking the board out here i mean it's not huge but it, but it works if you need a shower or just want to shower or a quick freshen up in the morning it'll be hot so that's, and it's a shower so the van's got 50 litres of fresh water and 57 litre of wastewater it's a little which odd i'm still trying to figure out why you'd have more wastewater than you would fresh water but hey ho uh, that's a it, lot it, of draining it is, it, it is tinned, what it is tinned veg or something isn't it <laughs> so back here you've got um obviously your van control your van oh, control steady on will steady on always uh, pressing van, buttons <laughs> your van control very panel sensitive to touch. um and um that's just telling you your battery capacities and all that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, you've got your hot water boiler here. So it's a Truma hot water boiler, which runs on gas. Um, and uh, basically you just switch it on when you want to use it about 15 minutes beforehand and it will just fire up and... So that's uh, the boiler for the hot water, is that? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it's got 50 degrees or 70 degrees C uh, and you just so flick it on. That's hot, it. Hot or... Hot or really inc hot. incredibly hot. I mean, crikey, we normally have a shower at about 38 degrees, so you know, that's... <laughs> uh, you've got your Webasto diesel heater, so that's your night heater, and again, yep. all you do is just fire it up, yep. turn it and on. And that's, that's blown air heating in this van, isn't it? That's right, and obviously this has just been, this is a new van, so just turning it on, it wants me to set which day it is and all that stuff. Yeah, but usually you just set your temperature, switch it on, off you go, you go. basically. Yeah. Um, got What's in the cupboard? More. More cupboard. More cupboard, more oh, storage. Your yeah, that's the uh, your shower, shower attachment head. for the yeah. back. That's your sucker for the shower, so you oh, can yes. attach it. Yeah. And then under this panel here, this is where your you can't really see it there, but that's where your water tank is, oh. um, and all of your drain for your water tank and everything else. And there's a sits in there. A nice I'll, I'll sort here, that out later. Yeah, he's going to have to put it back. <laughs> oh. Boy, steady on, Will. I'll sort that out later. Sorry about that. Right, um, I'm going to come out this way, and then the, again, uh, true professional style. I'm going to hand it to hand the camera to Will, and I'm going to come out because it's easier to show you the kitchen from standing out here. You can perfectly easily stand in here and use the kitchen, but the space to actually have a camera in front of you and show you is a little bit more tricky. So here you've got a normal fridge. I bet you can't so reach that to opens, open it now, can you? Not from properly out here. <laughs> She's getting her exercise I can in get now. In, look, see, is that going to hinder on far enough? So. 
That's a good size, actually. Is that an icebox in it, too? I think it might be. Yes, yes it, it is. is. Very little nice. Ice tray, yeah. Looks pretty good. There, looks good. So a nice little fridge. So that's an electric only. It doesn't work off yep. gas. So 12 volts. And then more storage. I mean, look. Huge. Ooh, what's that's that? That's such a massive... That's your shower that's curtain. That's your shower curtain, isn't it? Yeah. It's a huge cupboard. Huge cupboard there. Same again down here, look. So with that this one, folds down. That that's one where is your where gas your gas bottle goes. Bottle goes in there, yeah. In there. It's got a nice... Um, Carpeted, I think it's carpeted base on that. Technically big enough to have two 907 bottles in there. And then a little vertical that cupboard with some to a shelves. Oh yeah, I like that. Or an integrated Are wine fridge. You're listening, Ali. That's, that's <laughs> our recommendation for you. You need to convert it into a wine rack. Or this one that could go into a wine rack too. Yeah, that's another <laughs> very good amount of space. And again, curved at the back as well. All nicely finished. Yeah. So and this. There's, there's your little. Curtain yeah, these curtains, obviously that's for your privacy at night. Yes. But it also allows you, if you want to use the toilet, it allows you to pull it across. Well, there's another little so cupboard you've got here, some isn't privacy. there? And the cupboard there is... Toilet. Toilet cassette. Yeah. Nice and tidy. Again, a lovely finish on they're all really, of this, isn't there? They're really lovely, Get a slightly they? better view of the um, ladder from back here as well. Yeah, so the ladder Probably. is press studded on. Um, and then you'll probably see at the top of the ladder, it's got little hooks on the top. So you actually take the ladder off and then hook it on to the bed when you pull the bed down. So it's uh, very, very... Actually, I don't know whether you do. I think it goes across ways. I think it goes there because... Oh, it does, yes. There's these little plastic things here, look. Little plastic things there? There. That sounds to me like you need to watch me get the bed down from the top and see what the ladder does. Yeah. I fancy trying out the ladder. Right, let's have a look at this upper bed then. So this has got four gas struts. Four. And How many those. Four. 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 <laughs> or four. Um, <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, the, uh, the front part's got a couple of gas struts which pushes it forward. And then there's the main couple of gas struts, which is for the, the height at the back. So when you pull this down, you have to kind of pull it down, but then the front kind of flops down as well. Can you see that? I don't know whether you can mm, see that in the of. distance. So it's when you great. pull it down, it does all come down really easily as one. Just needs a little bit of guide. Yeah. It? And then it is quite tight. There's a lot of space there. You need the bed up out of the way to use tight. that shower, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, however, that's why we're going to have this like ladder it. so you'll be able to... Whoop, Whoop. onto the bed. Cool. So it's worth mentioning that this bed does have uh, frolly springs, uh, which are nice plastic individual springs. Uh, a reasonable mattress. I mean, it's a camper van mattress, so uh, very similar to the California mattress that you get. Uh, breathable, but thin. That thick. Um, so it's going to be if, okay. If you weigh any, or, or your BMI is above about 20, you're probably going to want to top that. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's saying that we wouldn't be very comfortable no. on it. No. Um, or if you sleep on your side, actually. I, side sleepers are more the problem. Yeah. Um, if you can sleep on your back, you're perfectly comfortable. Yeah. It's as soon as you're starting to put pressure but, through your, your hips or your shoulders. But there are loads of solutions for that. So loads yeah. of other mattresses, toppers, you know, all sorts of stuff. So don't let that put you off yeah. at all. Um, right, let's have a look at this then. So, mattress, uh, ladder. And then presumably here. Get the light out the way. We, oh yeah, pop that up there. You pop this. They've got some plastic things there that you need to turn around. They do. That kind of lock it in oh, place. Oh, I think you have to just do oh. the old swivelly swivelly oh. on the old. Turn the throne. Turning of the throne. Turn the throne. Clip the ladder in. Yeah, although. Ah, there we go. You done it. Sorry, it's me. And I actually wonder whether this would be... Yes, there, that's it. That's locked. Locked there on. There you go. Yeah, because these things turn around, locked. don't they? Yeah, done. So then you can... Scaling the ladder. Go up the ladder and then you are in the bed. So... <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> um, I mean, in all seriousness, it is really nice to be able to 
have something to be able to stand on. Yeah. Especially, let me just push this back up, especially because you've got this. Yes. So when you're coming down, you can have one hand on here. Just for a bit of stability. And go down the ladder. Yeah. So it's actually really quite nice. Even though it looks, I mean, it's obviously a, a relatively tight space. There's no question about that. But you'd expect that really in a van of this size. But it is actually not bad at all to get up there. I love it. I always wanted a ladder in our Cali. Right then, we're going to have a go at this bed. Now, don't laugh. I've only been shown this once before. So this is testing my memory. So first of all, we've got to get this table out the way, which is screwed in underneath. <laughs> so that's the first thing to remember. Oh, there we go. So table and underneath this, it's got a couple of weird legs. So what you do with those is you flip those up because this clips on in a minute. Oh, so we'll grab that out of the way. I'm going to take this table leg out. Kind of obvious, but uh, we need to do that. So this one actually screws in, which is time consuming on video, but actually nice and secure, which is the main thing. Well, you did so manage to that. drop the, the pole on my foot on holiday when it was one that didn't. I did. Screw in. I did. Sorry about that. Um, now that, as we were saying earlier, stores in this cupboard at the back here. And a couple of nice big rubbers. So that's that. Then we have to take the top off this. So we get that. We take this off. Uh, because, and move this little box out the way too, which goes between the seats. Because what we then do under here, when we take these cushions off, as you'll see there's a bit of Velcro there, this table goes here and it creates what we need as a space. So we just move these out the way, simple as that. Now then, on the bottom of this table, we've got some Velcro there and some Velcro there. So that Velcro lines up here and it goes across like that. So we've created effectively a uh, decent bed base there. What we, uh, what we do need to do, and that's all good and secure there. At the front here, all we need to do is just uh, cover up these couple of bits with that cushion. Oh, and then from this cupboard is where we get our bed bases. So there's one which goes there and it's got a piece of Velcro on just there which means when we get the other one out, just here, that Velcro's to it. So you're creating a nice large double mattress. Which Velcro's into place, because there's a nice piece of Velcro on there again. Pop those just there. Hang on a minute. Oh, and I Velcroed it in the wrong place. There we go. So you grab those there. That comes up there. And then this drawer underneath here pulls out to give you that little bit of extra security on the edge. So that's your bed, basically. You put your pillows here. Uh, these couple of nice wedges go on the front seats. Just like that. And then, oh, bearing in mind I'm six foot one. You've got, I'd probably call it a plus two bed in particular, rather than necessarily a, uh, oh, a permanent easy bed, but um, it's, uh, it's certainly an option. And if it was really throwing it down with rain and you needed something to sleep on, at least you could jump on here and at least it would do the job for you. So uh, yeah, not bad. 
So it's probably fair to say that if you've not been inside a new Ford Transit Custom, you won't know how nice it is. And it's really nice. So we've got cup holders on the end there. Obviously, things like big glove box down in there, look. Uh, this particular one is a automatic uh, and it's a 170 horsepower diesel engine. They do it in a manual version of this. They also do a 130 brake horsepower in a manual or automatic as well. Uh, so lots of choice, uh, lots of storage up here in the dashboard. You've got 12 volt USB there, again, more storage there. This one's got the navigation system. Again, if you've seen it on um, things like Fiestas and um, Mondeos, that kind of stuff, then um, very similar system. Uh, obviously things like your park assist uh, down here, traction control, auto start, stop, all of the usual things that you would imagine. Um, heated windscreen, as I said earlier, this one's got heated seats as well. Uh, it's a really nice place to be. Uh, this one's got adaptive cruise, as we mentioned. Uh, so you've got your distance control there, lane assist on this as well. Um, doesn't have the full digital dashboard. You can probably see the dials lurking in there very slightly. Uh, but to be honest, do you really need that? It's it's a luxury thing. It's really nice if you if you have it. But do you really need it on a camper van? Um, I do feel like I'm in a good driving position here as well. So quite nice and high up, uh, good visibility. Uh, interestingly, the door mirrors have got the little lower down door mirror as well, uh, which gives you much better visibility of the curbs on the left and right hand side. You can see in the doors here loads of storage as well. And obviously your cup holder there. There's also a huge bottle holder just down on the side there. There's one on the passenger side as well uh, that you can see. So actually a really decent cab. These seats as well. Nice adjustable big armrest there too. Uh, height adjustable seat belts in the front, grab handles, it's it's perfect. You really, really don't need any more than this to have a fantastic driving experience in your camper van. Right then, so we better have a chat about what we think about this Kelsey then. I, I'm really surprised actually, I like it. And the reason I say I'm surprised... <laughs> are, you, are you a VW snob? No, I don't think I am a VW snob. No, I'm not. <laughs> I think when our friends, Chris and Ali, down at Camper Fan Carpets got one, I thought, that's brilliant, that will suit them down to the ground. They've I wasn't too sure. Needs. Yeah, they had specific needs for that kind of thing, yeah. and they went with it. And I thought, you know what, it's just not really Fair for enough. us. That's yeah. you know, brilliant for them. It's a fantastic van. But looking around it, actually, I can see how it's, it's really a lovely clever. intermediate. And I say intermediate between going for a Cali and going for a bigger van. So making that step yeah. up to the um, kind of Ducato or MAN TGE or the Crafter kind of style. Yeah, so if you want that style. toilet and shower built in, actually it's a fantastic base van yeah, to do that in. It is. And the way that Westphalia have put it together with that extra bit of head height, with the way that the pop top internally folds and... Yeah, being that opposite way round to yeah, the Cali. So the, just, the back to front. It's really nice. Cali. It's really nice. <laughs> yeah, um, it's a lovely van. Yeah. And actually, I don't mind it being on a Ford. Like no. I said before, I've Nothing driven many, many Fiestas in my life and you know, various other Fords and they drive really well. And they do. You know, and Westphalia haven't dumbed it down for it being I, a Ford. There's no there's you know, don't beat around the bush here. It's, it's a Westphalia van. It's not a cheap yeah, yeah. imitation. De definitely not. Of a, They've not of dumbed a good it down van. At all. It's beautiful. It's really nicely put together. It's cleverly done and it feels like a real quality piece of kit. It does. I think anyone in the know who understands cars, likes cars, all that kind of stuff, they'll know how a Volkswagen normally drives. Um, you've probably driven an Audi or a Volkswagen in the past um, of any kind, and they have a certain way of driving, and it's a safe, steady, sometimes exciting, depending on which model you've got, you know, yeah. they're, 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 they're good to drive. Mm. Anyone who's driven a Ford knows that they're built for handling, they, they, they're, they're not necessarily the fastest, or the best at anything, but as an all-round thing to drive, it's good drive. They're always really good to drive. Yeah. You know, you don't find anyone who's had a Mondeo, uh, Focus, Fiesta, or, or a Focus anything. or anything like that who says, "Oh, I didn't really like driving it." No. Everyone always loves driving their Fords. Yeah. So, again, as a base fan, brilliant to build on. I think the other important thing to mention is Ford clearly aren't having any particular production issues or thinking about ending this particular type of van which is the yeah. 
uh, transit custom custom that's it it's yeah. always the custom bit i forget well the transit they're, they're, they're doing that collaboration with volkswagen coming anyway yeah. aren't they for the so, next generation so the, Westphalia can get hold of these vans yeah. and therefore then convert them. them and they are making them. So you haven't got the huge time delays that if you're dead set on a, a Volkswagen transporter yeah. that you're going to experience from either they've finished now and you can't yeah. order one or really you're going to be waiting a very, very long time. What Wonder Home was saying that they're able to get hold of these ready for summer this year. So late summer, yeah. I think it is, isn't yeah. it? Kind of August yeah. time. So, so if you want a van this summer, it, and, it's, this, it's, and this and this ticks an all your boxes. It's, it's an brilliant, option. you know, and the price. Yeah. For what you get, actually, that's, it's that's pretty the, incredible. That's the killer blow if you're looking for this. Honestly, so I think they're from fifty-seven thousand up to sixty-six thousand. Yeah. Um, and sixty-six thousand is the automatic one hundred and seventy, all the option packs, everything pretty much yeah. on it, pretty much like this one. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, even at sixty-six thousand, in you know, unfortunately inflation has taken its toll on these as well hasn't it and you know everything is getting more expensive but you know that looks like good value yeah really in the market lot of van for your money you know an incredible converter with so much heritage and if you're worried about the volkswagen history and all of that kind of stuff just look up westphalia if you haven't heard of them before and then you'll realize it's just as much heritage as volkswagen yes fully meshed in Meshed, in, meshed, meshed in. What's this? the heritage. <laughs> well, what, the Westphalia VW thing is basically where it all started, it and then they kind of separated ways, and then I think they went back together, and oh, then they separated it's, it's, it's and went whole, off with elsewhere. And there's you know, a whole other video. In yeah, which what, we won't go into what's right now. With Westphalia but, over the years. Yeah. Westphalia is a really yeah, good brand. Ama amazing, amazing build quality. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully that's helpful for you in having a look round at Kelsey. We've certainly enjoyed having a great look round in it. Yeah, um, Roxy's enjoyed watching us filming it. Yeah, yeah and maybe, you never here. know, in a few months' time, you might be able to catch up with Chris and Ali and say, how yeah. are they getting on with theirs? Yeah. And One thing's for certain, it's going to be far decorated. more decorated than <laughs> this will. lovely specimen here. <laughs> it will. Brilliant stuff. Right, well, thanks for watching. Um, yep. If you like this kind of content, please do like and subscribe because we are, as we said at the start of the video, we are doing other videos on other camper vans. So we've got the Club Joker coming up, or Club Joker City, should I say, coming up in a video very soon. And we're looking at the... Amundsen. 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 Amund, no, Amundsen. Amundsen. It ends yeah. with S-E-N. Okay. Amund Sen, um, we'll get there uh, in that video, uh, mm -hmm. and loads more besides. So yeah. stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, yes. and we'll see you again soon for some more Camper Van Time. time.